absolutely incredible. Overcome the biggest team to win the Intel Extreme Masters! So I'm here with Idra, the American player who lives in South Korea, if I'm correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So how was it to sit back and relax and watch the games while the other ones uh, were competing? Were you itching to actually play or is it just, you know, good fun for you right now? Actually, I was really glad to play on the second day because I just flew in from Korea yesterday. So I'm really tired. It's great to have the extra day of rest. So, yeah. So, you've watched most of the games. Who was the impressive player here? Um, TLO's performance was probably the most impressive. Uh, Mad Frog, it was good that he won, but he got a little bit lucky versus Cloud. But TLO just kind of played solid all the way through and beat players I didn't really expect him to beat. So I was most impressed with him. In the other group, we have the theoretical, let's call him the number 17 player, or player on the invite list. Yeah. So the first guy to replace a dropout. And we have Tarson, who not many people know. Where those two, you know, th those two guys making through to the playoffs, was that a surprise for you? Not particularly. Um, Morrow is actually quite good. He would have been a reasonable invite in the first place. Uh, Tarson was a bit of a surprise. I didn't really know how good he was going to be going into the tournament, so I didn't really know what to expect from him. And he played well, and Huck kind of choked a bit. I didn't see the games for Sartosis, so. I'm not really sure what to think, but I'm not too surprised. StarCraft 2 is a fairly new game, especially in high-profile competitions. Could you, would it be true to say that you've learned something today? Um, actually, I didn't see any Zerg games except the one Mad Frog where he lost to TLO. So in terms of that, not so much. Uh, I don't, I'm not really, I don't think so. So what can we expect from the matches tomorrow? What can we expect from you and from the other, in the other group? Well, um, I feel pretty good about my matches. It's not an easy group. Uh, De Muslim's very good. Strelik and Naniwa are dangerous, but I think I will advance. I think I'll win. The other group, Demaga, should do well, and the second place is kind of up in the air, probably Lucifron, but that could be a very close, or a close group. Uh, let's talk about Mad Frog a little, because uh, our commentators, Apollo and Day9, were really impressed with him. But you don't seem to be that impressed. You said he was lucky. Yeah, the third game versus Cloud, um, he expanded and then just went pure speedling. No tech off of like 15 drones, which is absolutely useless, except for some reason Cloud had his depot lowered and he just let him run in. So that's, I mean, it's hard to give much credit for that kind of win. Yeah, he won, but it wasn't in his hands. He didn't do anything to, to win the game. So, meh. And I didn't see the games with White Wild, so I can't comment on that. So how far do you see him going in the playoffs? Not very far, but I didn't see him getting out of groups, so you never know what will happen. How far do you see yourself going in the playoffs? I could win it. Um, I could lose in the round eight. A lot will depend on the matchups, who I have to play. So who's the player you would like to avoid? Maybe Moro. I, he seems to have a very abusive TVZ. He uses Reapers a lot. That kind of scares me. All right, anything you have to say to your fans or to your haters? Uh, thanks to my fans for supporting me. I hope I'll have good games tomorrow and you watch them all. Thank you. Nothing to the haters. They're not worth the time. Thank you. Absolutely incredible. Overcome the biggest team to win the Intel Extreme Masters!